The news updates. Few days to swear it in. Tinubu lands in fresh trouble as senators gang up against him. Let's see why. You're welcome to the news. And thank you for staying tuned to today staying tuned to today's news. But please don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates. To the news details. Senators elect for the tenth assembly are organizing against Bola Ahmed Tinumbu's intention to appoint Senator Godwin Akpabiu, a former governor of Akwa Ibom State, as the Senate's president. Additionally, it was reliably reported that the governors of the All Progressives Congress (APC), the party in power, are split on the issue. Some of them support Ashiwaju's selection of Akpabiu, while others think the North should produce the next Senate president. On Friday, there was an exclusive story that Tinubu had chosen Akpabiu and Jibrin Barra, a PC Kano, to serve as a Senate president and vice president, respectively. After meeting with a number of important party insiders, including several NWC members, he made the statement. According to reliable sources, however, even the party's NWC is split between those who want Akpabiu and those who want Kano, Sen Kano Senator Jibrin Barra to take the seats away from the southeast. Remember that on Thursday, Tinobu met with all the APC governors. Yesterday, he met with the party's governors from the northwest, which includes Barrow. There was no announcement from the meeting on Friday, despite the fact that Tinobu's office said in a statement after the meeting on Thursday, that it was intended to solicit the governor's support for a smooth election of the National Assembly's presiding officers. An indication that lawmakers elect, particularly those who are returning to the Red Chamber, are opposed to Apabio's candidacy as Senate president first surfaced. This is in spite of Tinumbu's continued consultations with important party stakeholders. According to several of the senators, Akpabio would not be able to manage the activities of the parliament. Given the region's role in Tinumbu's win in the February presidential election, one of them, a northerner, argued that the Senate presidency should belong to the North and not the South. Akpabio won't fly for two reasons, he claimed. One, order from standing down for Tinubu during the primary election had nothing to do with his success. Two, during the Niger Delta Development Commission investigation, it disparaged they disparaged the, the parliament. As a result, he encouraged Tinubu to reconsider. The All Progressives Congress asked 59 senators, the People's Democratic Party 36, the Labour Party 8, the New Nigeria People's Party, the Social Democratic Party, and the Young Progressive Party each have two seats in the 109 seat senate a simple majority of votes is needed to win the senate presidency when the new parliament is sworn in after the president's delivery of a letter of proclamation to the clerk of the national assembly although some of his colleagues were already uniting against the president-elect choice
Another senator elect claimed that it was the best decision for the nation. In a phone chat, he said that Apabio's behavior during the NDDC, that is the Niger Delta Development Commission investigation, when it was the Niger Delta Ministry, was to blame. I'm not going to oppose Ashiwaju. I've been informed of the option, and I am all utterly we I and pardon, and I all utterly endorse it. But our colleagues are already organizing a response to Akwabio. They said that as a minister, he subjected the parliaments to mockery. The senatorial, the, the, the Senate presidency seats in which the All Progressives Congress is supposed to select a Senate presidency and vice presidency. Although President elect has concluded on making use of zoning into the southeast and to Senator Godfrey Akpabio. But some of the senators are not accepting that, believing that it's supposed to be zoned to the north and giving reasons why Senator Akpabio cannot be the Senate presidency. But remember that, pardon, remember that Azari Dokubo had advised the president elect to zone it to the southeast so that it will calm every tension, every manipulation, and draw the out of the southeast to the president elect. But now that the, some senators are against the president elect decision, what do you think will actually be the decision of the president elect? We have come to the end of the news. Thank you for tuning in. Please comment in the comment section. Thank you.